Guten Tag und willkommen YouTube. Wir spielen in Hearts of Iron 3 zu Deutschland und dies ist Folge 21. Welcome in English and uh, here we go. We're on February 19th of 1940. We are preparing and actually we are ready to declare war on Denmark. Let's do that. Denmark, boom. Declare war. We need, we need declare limited war. Uh, and we're going to go with conquer. So we'll move the HQ up, move these 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 up. And I don't imagine that the Danes will put up much of a fight here, but we'll see. They historically did not. Oh, we have lost... What the fuck? What's going on here? Okay, diplomacy. Neighbors. Diplomacy. Belgium. What the fuck happened here? What the fuck happened here? This is I this is something goofy and I don't really know what's going on here. I don't know why their forces didn't get wiped out. But this is bullshit. I think I fucked up the war goal, admittedly. But uh, still, that shouldn't really have happened. We got up there. Gotta look at that. Need more research, infantry, let's see, assault weapons. Assault weapons sounds good. I'm irritated now. There's nothing to do but wait this out. I've already stomped some of it. Let's look at... Uh... Alright, I don't care about that. Alright, 
your reinforcement and upgrades. Let's fix that. Supplies still look good. Fuel, not so much, but that's okay. All right. All right, fine. You guys want to play this fucking game. We'll, we'll fucking go. Let's take a look at this. We don't have enough troops on their border. We need 200% of their brigades along our common border. We currently have 83.9. Ooh, that's frightening. All right, let's pay attention to actual, like, important war stuff here. This all looks fine. We're going to take this fleet and sail it and park it in Brest. <coughs> I chase these HQs around now. This is bullshit. What do we got down here for meat? That's pretty much it, actually. So I do have a fair amount of stuff off the border at this particular time, so... Uh, we got to get rid of interception tactics, which will be useful, but we got to replace it with something. I don't know what. Uh, destroyer anti aircraft. Sounds good. So I guess I'm treating this as a Belgian like uprising in the middle of Germany, I guess. Which sounds, sounds incredibly stupid. Radar! Fucking finally! Radar stations. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to start production on that, and that's going to get kicked right to the top. We've got to get rid of radar. And I think that's under industry. We'll do decryption machine. Wait a minute. Electronic computing machine. Yeah, that's what we want right there. Mechanical computing machine. That gives us research efficiency. We have a garrison unit available to be deployed. How about we put that right here? Oh, can't I? You rat fucker. I can't put it there. I can put it in Bruga, though. Uh, let's see what we can attach that to. The Sikorung's core. That looks good. All right, so that's the end of these fucking clowns in, in France. Let's move that back down. Make sure these guys aren't like totally out of line. They're not. Um, actually, hold on a second, because we got to put something in Dunkirk here, and then this can go up to Middleburg, and then this unit can go back down to Lil, I believe. Um, unless I want that to chase this du these dudes around, I think I might, because I've got nothing to chase these guys with other than friggin'. Garrisons. USA has declared national emergency. Let's take a look at USA. Uh, they're still in the middle. They're still only being... Wait a minute. Okay. I was going to say, at war with Germany? What the fuck? Let's 
Let's look at Belgium again now. All right, let's look at the USA. That's that's actually important. Let's look at we got to, we're back to 10 spies. Uh, we're up to 24, 23, 22. We're still the number one party in the USA. We really have to pump that up. We only have a few months now. All right, I've got a light panzer division uh, ready to kill and stomp these guys, so. Uh, let's see. Crowd troops ratio will change after January 29th, 19. Uh, we're still below them, though. We need more stuff over there. Then again, like, almost all of the ground stuff that's happening here will happen in on the Eastern Front. So let's look at neighbors. I want to see where Yugoslavia is at. Yugoslavia's almost there. Air neutrality is 36%. We have won the Battle of the Breton Coast. Fleet from the UK has uh, fled. We sank a destroyer flotilla. We need to look at this and see where we are. We're going to float that right back to port because they're like about to sink. Look at the U-boats. U-boats are still looking great. But they're doing no orders for some reason, so we're gonna go out here. We'll do convoy rating out here. And let's not forget what we're doing in Denmark here. Move that there. Move that there. Move this here. Why is this HQ? Oh, we're out of range of the army. That's why. There's not much I can do about that. There is, actually. I can put them up against with the Sikharung's army, which they're probably offended by that, but... What the fucking motherfucker? There's not much I can do except chase these guys down. So, all right. So we're about to we're about to end this up here. And hey, it's valuable combat experience for my Panzer commanders. We have upgrades. Oh, thank God that went down. We need to look at air air here because okay, so they're on no order. They're on no order. Why are they on no order? We're gonna do all right. Wait a second here. We are gonna do logistical bombing, bombards, infrastructure, and supply dumps. Strategic bombing. We'll do it by day, and we'll do one, two, there. And we'll look at Kampfgeschwader, no order. We're going to do runway cratering here again. By day for a month. Kampfgeschwader, mm, close enough. We'll do runway cratering here for a month. Oops, that was continuous. Oh well. I do have more tactical bombers in the pipeline too. All right, so they're moving in. That's about to be over. Stop the clock. What do we got? We got another garrison unit. I believe we're going to need one up here somewhere, right? Maybe not. Actually, yeah, we will. Um, we're going to put that right. Whoops. Shit. I just placed that in a dumb place. Oh, well. There's not much I can do about it. I except corner these guys. 
Okay, we're wasting IC on upgrades. We need to tamp that down. So we did actually encounter some Danish troops here. So, but this is basically all looking pretty good here. So, Denmark's about to go down. I could have used that garrison up in Denmark, too. I put it in this dumb space instead. Alright, this is like four angry Belgian guys right here. Alright, now I'm going to take this garrison unit. I'm going to strategically redeploy this up here. Well, at least the Italians have not fucked themselves in... Oh, look at this. They're actually making some progress again, too. And it doesn't look like... We got some British Marine, Royal Marines here. We got some infantry. There's some decent forces down here for the British. Be nice if they could take this. I would love to help them out. Do we got any airfields down here? Let's see what we have. Jagdgeschwader... Sturzkampfgeschwader, no order. Can we rebase them here? We can. So that's the end of Denmark. Alright, we need to kick this off. What do we got here? Tactical Air Command, let's get rid of that. Let's look at escorts and go with destroyer main armament. Let's look at capital and go with capital ship main armament is too high, but battleship armor should certainly be used since one of our boats is at the bottom of the uh, sea here. This is going 0.75, this is 2.05. I'm going to lower this to 0.7. keep officers up a little bit. And we're going to do ground attacks by day for seven days. At least this way we can uh, control. Okay, so hold on a second here. What's going on? We have been subjected to an embargo by the USA. Fuck! Um, after the German occupation of Denmark, British forces swiftly took... Oh, that's why this that happened. I can deal with that. That's okay. All right, so we got Denmark going up here. We need to put these guys here offhand. We need to keep that there for now. Uh, surely we have some more garrison guys that aren't doing anything useful. We certainly do. Like this guy, for instance. We're going to strategically redeploy him to Copenhagen. And I'm fairly confident that there's more. There is. I'll strategically redeploy this up to here. Oh. That's my touchpad. All right, and we got two garrisons in, looks like loads, which we don't need. We're going to strategically redeploy that up to Friedrichshafen. And Denmark's going to be garrisoned. We'll pause. We got IC being wasted on upgrades. Let's tamp that down, kick, kick that up. We've got more research possible. Battleship armor. Um, kick that up. And our uh, supplies are starting to go down now. But that's because we're pillaging our supplies for the sake of keeping production up for a little bit. That's still happening. This is over over here. Move that guy back here. Make this guy. Now we'll leave that up there for now. But this, these guys are going right back to the east front shortly. Uh, you know what? No. 
they're not. Hold on a second here. It will be very useful to have these guys down here just now. Because otherwise I'm going to be chasing these guys all around central Germany for weeks. And that's bullshit. Reinforcement and upgrades. We can kick these down. How are we doing down here? Hey, look at that. We can do ground attacks by day for a week. We've got Marines here. we got infantry there. This is where the attack is happening, however. So I really would like the Italians to be able to take this, because this, this puts a chokehold on the British. All right, diplomacy. Let's look at this Belgian bullshit here. Yeah, I don't know how I can even conquer him now. I, I think this is a bug of some kind. I'm going to take a complete wild guess and say that the British probably don't have any air down there. That's the end of that. So we'll let that go, and they will arrive on the 14th, which is tomorrow. What do we got for national decision? Possibility to invite to faction. Yes. Hungary. Invite to faction. Finally. Diplomacy. Let's look at Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia's got to be pretty close. Their neutrality is still high, though. Uh, Slovakia's already in our faction. Hungary is accepted. Very good. We have units available. Garrison guy. Um, I guess we'll put that garrison here. that guy out of the way as soon as we have our garrisons moving up I could have parked it in Denmark actually and saved myself the trouble but that's okay see so, yeah, what we got going on here reinforcement all right what's what what's the date here let's look at production um, so this comes off in June this comes off in July. Let's put this stuff in order. This comes off in May. 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 Ooh, that's the Hindenburg. Very good. All right, so we got we got plenty of production in the pipeline. So I'm sa pretty satisfied with that at this time. Looking at diplomacy. Let's look at Romania. <laughs> Ooh, they're right in the middle. They're drifting toward the allies. Yeah, we're we're pretty close now. I really feel like we're hurting the British. Let's look down here and see what's going on. Excellent.
it's, they're look at this. The sun is agreeing with them. They're they're uh, they've been working, and their uh, their uh, organization is higher than it was. All right, and the British are making a mess of things down here, but that's okay. We'll let the Italians deal with that. That's that's why we want the Italians to do stuff. So if we click on a province here, and we go here, we want to put this as an allied objective. And then if we go down here, oh, excellent. Look at this, BP map mode. So this is already, these are Japanese. OK, great, great, that's what I want. So we can go here and set this as a Japanese objective. That's already taken by the Japanese. We can set this as a Japanese objective. Now, this is no guarantee they'll actually do any of this stuff, but hey, it's it works for me. We got Japanese Marines there. Let's set this as a Japanese objective, too. All right, and that should do that for now. We gotta fix that. Get rid of it. Go back to capital ships. Uh, actually, let's go back to escorts because we really want to destroy our army. And we're 29 right now. Okay, so we couldn't replace that apparently. Uh, we totally can. Actually, we're 20. Uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna lower this to 28. God damn it, because ah fuck. Let me just screwed that up. We're 28. I want the officer ratio to go, keep going up. All right, majors, look at the USA. USA, drifting toward the Allies, looking at intelligence in the USA. We have 10 agents there. We're 24, 23, 22. It's not as good as I would like it to be. Kick that up a little bit. That is what it is, though. I have a limited ability to interfere with that. All right, so we want to go here. We'll put this guy back down here. This HQ can be detached and reattached to the 7th Army, so that takes care of that particular problem. The 2nd Army appears to be totally empty at this time. That's dumb. Let's do it this way. Got our garrisons moving up here, so we're going to take this HQ, all of its guys. We've cleaned that mess up, so we're going to take that and we're going to put it, god damn it, here. Hungary's mobilizing. Well, <laughs> now'd be a good time, Hungary. Thanks. All right, we're wasting on upgrades. We'll kick that down, kick that up. Manpower still looks okay. We have units available to be deployed. We have need for those units. Uh, where exactly is a great question. This is the 19th Army Corps. That's where we want that. 19th Army Corps. So right now, we have 67.4% of the Soviet units. That's bad. Uh, at some point, the Soviets are going to claim Bessarabia, which is, which is going to be like two provinces deep into Romania here. Oh, we're wasting on production. How is that even possible? Hold on a second. What just... Uh, just infantry, as far as I can tell. We got tack bombers coming in March. Uh, in Ju Make that June. We've got April. We've got more infantry, which we could certainly use. Um, we're at 286 out of 277. Uh, we're going to build more destroyers. We're going to build another fleet of dest three destroyers, which will take most of a year. That'll put us at 289. That's actually pretty good. Sweden is mobilizing. Wow. Let's take a look at that, because that's worrisome. Sweden. Where is Sweden? Right in the middle. Well, maybe they'll declare war on the Soviets or something. Their highest threat is against us, though, by a, a lot. Northern Celtic Shelf. 
Got another unit here. Yagdishvada. Excellent. Okay. Let's put that Yagdishvada here. Let's go check out what we're doing down here. We want a ground attack by day for a week. It totally works. We're wasting on production. Really? Already? Wow. Well, planes are plane, planes are incredibly expensive in this game, so I'm actually not at all surprised by that. All right, so this looks okay. Uh, let's go for a day or so here, at least a couple hours. Where we need 279, we have 286. We've got destroyers in the pipeline. We've got three more battleships in the pipeline, which God damn it is enough. Um, we've got uh, you know we just need more infantry, man. It kicks us to 318. We're in a horrible, horrible, horrible dire need of infantry. But then again, we, we do have a lot coming. And here's one. I think where it's going in the 19th Army Corps again. We should fill that up. Okay, this can go up here. That looks good. So, all right, so this is infantry, 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 infantry. We'll move the HQ up to go with its units, infantry. Move that HQ to go up with its units, infantry, infantry. So, this all looks pretty good. Uh, but there are some holes that we have to fill, so we'll be looking at doing that. And we need more air, too, to be honest about it. And man, do we need those radar stations. Holy shit balls, do we need those radar stations. Pause that. What do we got rolling over here? Fighter targeting focus. Let's take that off, which means we have room in industry. Let's see. Agriculture manpower would be a good idea. And it's, it's pretty quick, so we'll do it. Infantry? Infantry. Very good. All right, so we need to start consolidating these stacks down here. So let's move this guy over here, and then we'll take this new infantry unit, drop him there, and then we'll make a new core. Attach that to the sixth arm. Ah, uh, shitballs. All right, we'll detach that then. Uh, this is going to be the 22nd Corps. And that looks good. Now let's look at overall organization on the east front here. So we have... On the east front, we have three armies, each of which are full of cores. However, we have in the west, we have this second army. Where was that? Which is not doing anything. Where was that goddamn guy? This guy. Okay, we're going to detach this. We're going to reattach him to Kiris Krupa Ost. And we'll put him... I think we'll put him down here. This is fine. 
Give that some time. Denmark is fully garrisoned. That looks good. Look down here in North Africa and see what's going on. Got these guys who are ground attacking still. They're ground attacking here, but they don't need to. So we're going to ground attack right... Uh, let's see. I can't really see where the British are going here. I'm going to go here, I believe. Ground attack by day for four days. So go Italy, man. Viva la Italia, I guess. My Italian's even worse than my German. So when I uh, had the opportunity at uh, 40 years old or, or close to it to go back to school and the decision was made to take a foreign language which was required by the program. I imprudently decided I was going to take classical Latin instead of something practical. So the closest language to classical Italian, uh, Latin is apparently modern Italian, and I, I can't make Italian out at all. I'm actually a little better with Spanish. Uh, and I don't, I don't really know Spanish either. So the, the non-English language that I am best with is actually German, although you probably never know that from my introductions. So, sorry about that, but hey, we do what we can. All right, so this clown needs to come. That's this guy. He needs to come down here. And that otherwise looks pretty okay. Uh... Let's detach this and see if we can find a Sihirong's core here. That's slightly less bad. I see him being wasted on what? Upgrades. I'm glad to see that number's finally clawing its way down. All right, so we have a Sihirong's armée here. We're going to create, we're going to detach this, create this, and let's look and see what we have. We need a third Sikharung's army. No, we don't. Not really. So this guy can go under that second Sikharung's army. And then we need to rename him the... Uh, we can detach this guy too. Looks like the sixth Sicherung's core. And that's fine. And then we need to detach this guy and put him somewhere less silly. But we need to keep the clock rolling. And I believe we have run this episode long enough. It is 31 March 1940. We are still building up on the uh, Soviet frontier here. We have conquered Denmark, and we are doing what we can to help the Italians unfuck the situation down here in Egypt. So uh, we are making some pretty nice progress here, and, and actually the Italians look like they're now doing, now that they have a, a ton of forces down here, um, it looks like they're doing pretty well with uh, some help from German air support. So uh, I did not send an Africa Corps down, but I did send a, uh, a Sturzkampfgeschwader down to assist them. So I think we made some good progress in this episode. I thank you for watching. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to keep up with the channel. There's plenty more Hearts of Iron 3 on the way, which I hope that you're enjoying, and I will see you next time.